Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. Shri loves learning new things on the computer. It has games and it has social media sites. She is thrilled to make new friend on one such site. But is this friend lying to her? Find out for yourself in the cyber thriller. The title of the story, The Mystery of the Cyber Friend, written by Zach Oya. Illustrated by Nilofar Vadia. Published by Pratham Books. Narrated by Asavari Doshi. For more such interesting stories and different articles, visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com. Let's solve the mystery. Shri lives in an apartment in a small town called Katpadi Junction. Amma works in a jewellery shop. Appa works as a taxi driver. They want her to learn computers, so they are pleased that she likes to use it. The computer is Shri's friend. She always finds time for it. She uses it to find information for school projects and send emails. Shri's aunt also stays with them. Everyone calls her Akka. Most of the time she naps in front of the TV that shows her favorite old films. She gives Shri hot dosa stuffed with spicy noodles. After tiffin, Shri likes to play. Not the traditional games that Akka likes to play with stones and shells. Shri likes to play games on the computer. The computer does not just have games. It also has friends net. Shri joined it two months ago on her 13th birthday. After snacks and tea, she chats with her school friends through friends net. They tell each other what they did since they met last on the school bus. Shri says that she got extra sugar with her tea. One friend says that you get every day. Shri says, and I also got mutton flavored noodles with my dosa. Another friend teases, do you do anything other than eating? Shri gets angry. She decides to unfriend them. Afterwards, she misses them. But before she can tell them she is sorry, she gets a new friend request. It is from a girl called Chaitra. She is very pretty, like a film star. Shri clicks accept. One click and they become friends. Chaitra types, Do you have many friends? No, and I lost a few friends today. She adds a sad face emotion. So what? It really doesn't matter how many friends you have. It is the nature of our friendship that matters and you have me now. Shri likes the sound of that. Where do you go to school? Types Shri. Near your school? Types Chaitra. How do you know which school I go to? Wonders Shri. Because it is near my school. That's nice. Then we can meet. Types Shri. Chaitra signs off. Yes, and we will be best friends forever. Bye. The next morning, Shri looks for a school near hers. But she cannot see one. It is a little strange that she hasn't heard of any other school nearby. But Chaitra is nicer than all her other friends. She is Shri's special friend and nobody else's friend. Today she doesn't touch the hot noodles, though they are her favorite flavor, chili chicken. Akka wonders what's wrong. Are you feeling unwell? Too much school work, lies Shri. Then go and finish your homework while I take my nap, says her aunt. But Shri does not do her homework. Instead, she starts the computer, goes online and waits for her new friend to ping her. Soon, she gets a message from Chaitra. Hello friend, how are you today? I am fine. I didn't eat my tiffin, types Shri. Why? 
types Chaitra. Because I wanted to talk to you, so I finished tea quickly. Type Shri. Great. Now, can you send me a selfie and give me your number so I can call you? Types Chaitra. Uh, I don't have a camera phone. Types Shri and feels sad. Chaitra offers to give Shri her old camera phone. Let's meet tomorrow, Sunday. Then I will take your snap and give you my old phone. Shri has always wished for a phone with a camera. She types, uh, Where shall we meet? Chaitra types, Come to the railway station. Shri asks, What time? Chaitra decides, When the Bengaluru train reaches there. Akka comes into the room just then to clean it. What are you doing, Shri? I have a new friend, Akka. Akka looks over Shri's shoulder at Chaitra's profile picture. But that's the film actress I like so much, Madhu. She is your friend? Yes, but her name is Chaitra. Akka laughs and shakes her head. <laughs> that's Madhu. I have seen all her films. She must be so old now. She is the same age as me, insists Shri. No, no, no. She is as old as I am, says Akka. That snap was taken when she was still in school. It is from her first movie. Shri is angry with Akka, then stops to think. Is Chaitra using someone else's picture? A film star's? How old are you? She types next day. I told you I am 13, the same age as you. Chaitra types back. Shri replies, that's good. Best friends should be the same age. Hey, the earrings in your profile picture are so pretty, types Shri. Thanks, I made them myself. Wow, wear them when we meet tomorrow. Okay, but only if you come alone, says Chaitra. Why? Types Shri. Because I am coming alone too, to our secret meeting. Shri is typing OK when she remembers something. Hey Chaitra, I haven't seen any other school near our school. But Chaitra has gone offline. Is there something strange about her new friend? Has she been lying? Shri is very confused and cannot focus on her homework. Akka? She asks. Yes, my dear, says Akka. What is worrying you? Shri decides to be honest and tells her all about her new friend who is lying. Akka, what should I do? The next day, Shri and Akka reach Katpadi Junction much before the arrival of the Bengaluru Express. They have a secret plan to find out if the new friend is honest or not. Akka says, I will go and talk to the station manager so he can help us. The train from Bengaluru is coming in. Shri looks all around. She cannot remember whether Chaitra had asked her to wait inside the station or outside. Where did Akka go? She can't see her anywhere. Many passengers come out of the train. None look like Chaitra. A man who is her father's edge walks towards Shri. He is smiling. Hello, Shri. Shri is shocked. She doesn't know him. It is so nice to see you, he says. Who are you? You are not Chaitra, stutters Shri. No, but I am an uncle and would like to be your friend, Shri. I like to make friends with young girls. Says the uncle who is not Chaitra. E! shrieks Shri. Akka is beside her in a second along with the station manager. The uncle who is not Chaitra is surprised. He didn't expect that Shri would bring two grown ups with her. Akka hits him with her handbag. Then she yells, Don't you dare come near my niece! Oh! he cries. Just then the train moves. He ran towards a bogey door. The station manager rushes forward to catch the man, but he disappears into the crowded train. They all go to the police station. You are a brave pair, 
says a police woman. Thank you for informing us about this imposter. Shri, you were clever to confide in a trusted adult. Will you put up this poster about cyber security in your school, please? We would also like to conduct a cyber safety class in your school. She says an expert from the cyber crime cell will need to take a look at Shri's computer. The next day, a cyber crime officer goes through Shri's computer. Within hours, the police find the man who pretended to be Chaitra. They nab him from his office in Bengaluru and find that he has been trying to befriend many young girls and boys on social media. Shri decides to only have friends from her own school. She can't wait to tell her friends about her scary adventure with her cyber friend. Kids, story is over. But be safe online. The child helpline telephone number in India is 1098. I will just repeat the number 1098. The internet has many uses and is a wonderful technology. But if misused, it can cause problems too. Use the internet wisely. Do not give out your name, address, school name, telephone number or email ID to strangers online. Do not send your photograph to anyone online without first checking with your parents or guardians. Do not respond to messages that make you uncomfortable. Never arrange a face-to-face -face meeting with someone you only know online without telling your parents or guardians. Remember that people online may not be who they seem to be. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.booksthatspeak.com Eruwaui! Eruwaui!